Today on Roaming Roads, Finn and I here are going to install a new keyless entry lock on our Class C RV. So stick around and uh, watch us do it. So we started our adventure at Amazon where all good projects start. And there were just hundreds of different door locks. We were really looking for a direct replacement. Knowing our existing product was a Bauer, we went over to that site. There were two products on the main page that looked very similar to what we have. Uh, the top one here and the bottom one. So we kind of had to explore which one we needed for our specific application. Looking at the first option, which is the Bauer Any Bluetooth, this option was not the correct fit for a motorized application. It does not have the two pins uh, required for the motorized and the deadbolt is in the wrong location. But this may be what you need for your application. Looking at the other option, the Bauer EM Bluetooth, it looked like that was approved for motorized application and looked more similar to what we have on our current vehicle with those two tabs. The price at $299 did seem a little bit high compared to some of the other options we had seen on Amazon. Although this did have all the features, plus it had the application for the phone and for the watch and proximity capabilities. So this is a product that we really wanted, but we just didn't want to pay $299 for. So we went to look for other options. So this led us over to RecPro. Uh, RecPro is a company that uh, I have used before to replace uh, cushions and things of that nature, and they provided pretty good service. So we did a search for keyless entry locks, and when you know it, there's the exact model that we need, uh, but it, it, it looks like it's a RecPro version of that product. So on the site, there's no mention of Bauer. There's no mention of Bluetooth. There's no mention of proximity. So we honestly thought this was just a direct keypad replacement at a significantly cheaper price. This product was only $189 compared to the $299 on the Bauer site. So we thought we would do without Bluetooth and just simply replace the existing product that we have. They also have the non-motorized version, but it's a little more pricey than the motorized, which was also kind of odd. After placing the order, we received the product from Rec Pro in about two days. Uh, they ship from Indiana, so it's not very far to where we live. So after looking at the box, there's nothing to indicate on this box that it's anything but a Rec Pro device. You open the box, inside there's another smaller box, and then inside the main Rec Pro box, Rec Pro did include a strike plate. Opening the inside box, now's the first indication that you get it actually is a Bauer product. We'll start to unwrap it here, and you'll notice that the keys our Bauer, the door lock is Bauer. It's all metal construction. This is just really high quality. As you can see here, it is the motorized version of the product. It's got the two little tabs. The one thing we're noticing is this does appear to have the Bluetooth capability in reading the instructions you can see here that uh, it does include the Bluetooth and the phone app, which again, there were no, there was no mention of this on the website. We'll go ahead and get it down to the RV and get this thing installed. So here's what we've got. Uh, this used to work. We've tried replacing the batteries. The batteries, when we replace them, it'll work for about three or four days and then it'll stop working in. So something is draining the battery. So you can see it's pretty much the same lock that we purchased. And we're just simply gonna replace it with a newer lock. Pretty straightforward battery compartments here. We'll remove these four screws um, and then we'll also remove the two screws on the end of the door. Um, and this should be just a direct 
replacement of the existing lock. Again, those four screws make it real easy to remove. I believe the batteries were draining due to this cut in the battery wire. Before installing the lock, we're going to want to clean out the residue that's around the cutout. Now we're going to take the new lock and install it where the old lock came out. This will mount on the outside of the door. There is a rubber gasket. You'll want to make sure that that goes on the outside of the cutout. Now we've got the outside installed. The battery will plug in right there. As we put the inside piece in, we need to make sure we don't cut that wire. So we've got the new lock installed. So all we need to do now is set up the Bluetooth on it and get it connected to our phones. Now we're going to go to the App Store and download the Bauer Lock application so that we can set it up and connect with Bluetooth. In order to sync the Bluetooth, you have to enter your code, which I'm not going to show you, and then you hold the 1 and 2 and the 7 and 8 simultaneously, and that will put it in pairing mode. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to click Add, and the lock will be shown, and you select the lock. It's going to connect, and we're going to pair. And now we're paired. Now that we have the phone paired, we're going to go into settings, which is this screen here, and we're going to enable proximity mode. So now that we've enabled proximity mode, uh, all you have to do is hit the enter key, which is basically the key. Um, assuming that your phone is nearby. Proximity mode does not work to lock the door it only works to unlock the door so right now we've got the deadbolt and the door in a locked state even though it's open and so all i have to do is press the lock button and it unlocks the door just because we're close with our phones thanks for watching the video if you like what you see click the subscribe button below and join us on other adventures we'll take you camping install gear and have a good old time